In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for barium nitrate plus sodium phosphate. That's BaNO32 plus Na3PO4. First thing we need to do with net ionic equations, we need to balance the molecular equation. This is our molecular equation. I can see that right away I have one barium here and three here. So let's put a three in front of the barium nitrate. Now I have two times this one here. So I have two nitrates here times three, six nitrates. Let's put a six here in front of the sodium nitrate. Now I have six sodium atoms, but the nitrates are balanced. We put a two in front of the sodium phosphate, two times three, that's six. We balance the sodiums. We have two of the phosphates here, two here. That's the balanced molecular equation for BaNO32 plus Na3PO4. Now we can write the state for each substance. If you know your solubility rules, nitrates, very soluble, AQ. In general, sodium compounds are soluble. Phosphates, most of the time, they're insoluble. They won't dissolve in water. But with the sodium atom here, this is going to be a soluble compound. So it'll be aqueous as well. The phosphate here, though, it's bonded to barium. We said phosphates in general are insoluble. Barium phosphate is insoluble, so it's not going to dissolve. When these two substances react, we'll actually get a solid. This is a precipitate, and it'll fall to the bottom of the test tube here in a precipitation reaction. Sodium compounds soluble and nitrates are soluble, so this is certainly going to be aqueous. So we have the states for each substance. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions, and this will give us the complete ionic equation. So for barium, that's in group two on the periodic table, two plus. The nitrate's one minus, good one to remember. So I have three barium ions. And I won't write the states, let's write those at the end. Plus, I have two times the one nitrate, so two nitrates times the three. Two times three, six nitrate ions. Sodium group one, one plus, and the whole phosphate ion is three minus. So I have two times the three, that gives me six of these sodium ions, and two times the phosphate, that gives me two phosphate ions. And these are the reactants in our net ionic equation. So we have our reactants in the products for a net ionic equation, we don't split solids apart. So we're just gonna call this barium phosphate. And we'll keep this all together since it's a solid. We have plus and minus here, so we have six sodium ions, just like we had in the reactants, and we have six of these nitrate ions, also like the reactants. So these are the products for this complete ionic equation here. Now we can cross out the spectator ions. They're on both sides. So I can see in the reactants I have six nitrates right here, these nitrate ions. I also have that in the products. Get rid of it six sodium ions, and then again in the products, six sodium ions. Get rid of those. And what's left, that's the net ionic equation for barium nitrate plus sodium phosphate. I'll clean it up, write the states, and we'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the complete net ionic equation for BaNO32 plus Na3PO4. You'll note that charge is conserved. We have three times two plus, that's six plus, here we have two times three minus, six minus. So those two give us a net charge of zero. This is neutral net charge of zero. If you count the atoms up, they'll be balanced as well. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for barium nitrate plus sodium phosphate. Thanks for watching.